Hey Gliders, Jack here. It's the 5th of November 2020 and I wanted to give you an update on all the things we've been releasing recently at Glide. The first is some updates to the preview as experience. Previously, you had to enter the exact user's email, but now if your app is using roles, you'll see all of your users in this menu here and you'll be able to search by email, name or role. We've made a lot of enhancements recently that allow you to make your app a lot more secure for your users. And one of those is protected columns. Sometimes when you're using a Google Sheet, you don't use all of the columns in that sheet to build your app. For example, in this sheet, we have a social security number, which is obviously really sensitive information that we don't want our app to be able to download. And we're not using it in the app either. So in Glide's data editor, we can take that column and we can make it protected. Once you've made a column protected, it's inaccessible in both the data editor and in the app, and no one can download that data. Another feature we've added recently is the ability to anonymize user emails when they sign up, so that you as the app creator don't have to see their real email address. You'll find this in the settings area in the privacy section. And if we turn on hide user email addresses, instead of getting the real user's email, we get a fake user email here. Turning it on doesn't affect previous emails of people that have signed up, but any new users that sign up in future will have an anonymized email. So the data editor is somewhere that you hang out quite a lot when you're making an app. And we recently rebuilt it from scratch. It's now up to five times faster when scrolling and interacting. And we've added a few new things. You can resize columns. You can search with Command or Control F. And you can also add new rows. So the math column has received a bit of attention in the last five weeks and we've added a bunch of new functions which you can find in our documentation. But we've also added the ability to do some simple date time math. Let me show you what I mean. So in this column here, we have the date that each employee joined the company. And to the right, we have a math column which is working out how many years it is. But of course, to do that, you need the value of now and that's what we've given you. In this field here, we have the word now minus date and then divided by 365. And then we're replacing the word now with the value of now, which is a new feature that we've given you. And then also we're replacing date with that column. And that gives us the number of years since the employee joined the company. Most apps rely heavily on images to tell a visual story. But sometimes, particularly if your users are uploading many items themselves, some items don't have images. And so you get this empty placeholder in place of the image. Instead, you can now use an image generation column to generate automatic, abstract, and moving images. Let me show you how it works. If I add a new column, we can see that we have a new computed column called Generate Image. It has two options for the configuration, the type of shapes that are in here, and we'll be adding more in future. I'm going to choose Mesh for now. And then the input. This is usually good to assign to a unique value in our sheet. So I'm going to choose the row ID. We can now see that we've got subtly moving abstract images for each of our items. So a while ago, we added this new feature in the bottom left hand side of Glide, play mode and select mode. Play mode is how you would expect to interact with an app. And it was how Glide worked before. But now with command or control on PC, you can change or toggle between play mode and select mode. When you're in select mode, when you click on a component, that component's configuration will show up on the right hand side. This has been around for a while, but we recently added the ability to do this with tabs as well. As soon as I click on one of these tabs, it takes me to the configuration for that tab. If your app is pro and you use the file picker a lot, you can now upload files up to one gigabyte in size. Pro apps can now customize the name of the about section inside of the flyout menu. If your app uses tablet desktop layout, you can now enable the opening of tablet desktop mode by default on larger devices. Very often when you're talking with Glide support, you need to give them access to your app in a secure way. We've added a really easy way to do this now. To do this, just visit your app dashboard and click on the menu in the top right of the app that you need support for. Here you'll see a link which you can pass to support. So that's a roundup of some of the latest features in Glide. But one of the biggest ones is coming next week. So if you're interested in that, you can join us for a webinar where we'll be talking about that and a bunch of other things. So you can sign up for that in the email, or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can follow the link below. Hope to see you there.